ए फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑल अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव बिन गिवन दिस डिजिटल सर्किट एंड हियर वी हैव बिन आस्ट टू फाइंड द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन ऑफ द गिवन सर्किट सो हियर वी हैव बिन गिवन दैट द क्यू एन इज द प्रेजेंट स्टेट ऑफ द गिवन सर्किट वेल द क्यू एन प्लस वन इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेट सो दिस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन शोज द नेक्स्ट स्टेट ऑफ द सर्किट इन टर्म्स ऑफ द प्रेजेंट स्टेट एंड द करंट इनपुट्स सो टू फाइंड दैट First of all, let us see the truth table of the given circuit. So, if you look this circuit, then this is basically the multiplexer, or to be precise, it is the four cross one multiplexer. So, as you can see, it has four inputs and one outputs. And to select any one of the four inputs, it has two selection lines. So here, whenever both the inputs A and B are zero, then the first input line will get selected. Likewise, when the both inputs are one. then the last input line will get selected and it will get connected to the output so here when both inputs a and b are zero then the first input will get connected to the output that means the output will be same as the first input and as you can see there is a feedback from the output to the input side that means here this first input line is equal to q and the same input will also appear at the output side that means presently if qn is equal to 0 then this qn plus 1 will also remain 0 and if this q is equal to 1 then in the next state also the output will remain 1 likewise when this a is 0 and b is 1 then the second input will get selected and as you can see this second input is equal to 0 that means this output q will remain 0 that means with this input combination irrespective of the present state of the circuit in the next state the output will become zero likewise when this a is 1 and b is 0 then this third input line will get connected to the output and as you can see this third input is equal to 1 that means in that case this output q will become 1 that means for this a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0 irrespective of the present state of the circuit in the next state this output will become 1 and likewise let us see the last case so whenever this a and b both are 1 then this last input line will get connected to the output and as you can see once again there is a feedback from the output to the input side that means the input to this fourth input line is equal to q and therefore the output will be same as the current state that means presently if this qn is 0 then in the next state also it will remain zero and if this qn is 1 then in the next state it will remain same that means as you can see whenever this a and b both are zero or both are one then this circuit will maintain its current state and whenever this a is zero and b is one then this circuit will get reset and likewise for this a is equal to 1 and b is equal to zero the circuit will get set to the one so this is the truth table of the given circuit so based on this truth table let us find the characteristic equation of the given circuit so here as you can see this qn plus 1 output is 1 for the four different input combinations and they are mean term m4 m2 m6 and m7 so first of all let us mark all these mean terms in the k map and let us try to simplify it So here in the K map, first of all, we can make the group of these two ones. That is the mean term M2 and M6. Similarly, to cover this mean term M7, we can make the group of these two ones. And likewise, to cover the mean term M4, we can make the group of this M4 and M6. So in this way, by making the three groups, we can cover all the mean terms. So here, this group corresponds to the term A dot. b dash likewise this term corresponds to qn dot a because in this group the variable qn remains same and similarly this variable a is also not changing and the value of both variables is equal to a that means this group corresponds to the qn dot a likewise if you see this group then this group corresponds to qn dot b dash because in this group the value of variable qn is equal to 1 while the value of variable b is equal to 0 
So in this way, we got the three groups. That means now this qn plus one is equal to a dot b bar plus qn dot a plus qn dot b bar. That means this is the characteristic equation of the given circuit. And in this equation, by putting the value of this variable a and b, we can also verify it. And therefore, we can say that this is the characteristic equation of the given circuit.